Okay, so this <laughs> this is Cleo. I like to call her Cleo the Muppet. She's a six and a half month uh, Portuguese water dog. She's clearly adorable, um, but she has some behavioral issues that we're working out. A lot of excitement, which is expected with a young puppy. Um, a lot of territorial stuff with other dogs, which we're working out, which is going well. But her she, her owner had some specific things she needs to work out. Sorry, I, I get into a trance sometimes staring at her. She's so damn cute. Uh, but we need to ignore that here. We're allowing her to sit at rest because one of the things she does is her owner had an issue with her chewing up her carpet. So we're creating a game to correct that, right? She's outfitted right now with a mini educator. She's on a six, which is her like working or educational level. And we're just allowing her to chill on the carpet until I see her trying to chew on the carpet, which she might not even do in this video. If she does, I'm going to tap on this control while I say no. And I'm going to replace the carpet with a high value toy so that she knows you can chew on stuff on the carpet. You just can't chew on the carpet. Sit. No, that's good. Down. No, Cleo. Down. Come on, down, good. So it's really, sometimes with these behavioral issues, it's about creating a specific game uh, so that the dog understands what's expected of them. Uh, and to a degree, you're kind of setting the dog up to fail, uh, which can kind of be counterintuitive to like what we always, to what we like to say on this channel, which is set your dog up for success, right? Ask for realistic things, uh, set realistic expectations for your timeline and what you want to accomplish in each session. Um, but in this situation, we want the dog to fail so we can correct them. We're setting them up for success on the long term, right? On a longer timeline, we're setting the dog up for success by sending a clear message of what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. Uh, this dog's adorable, but bottom line, she can't eat up the rug. This rug's nice enough. Her owner has a humongous rug, gigantic, beautiful rug that takes up, you know, 10 times the space of this one. So she can't be chewing on it. Uh, one thing that was happening is she definitely had toys that were made up of the same type of material as the rug. She was getting into a habit, I think, of chewing on the rug because of the toy. So we eliminated those toys. We eliminated her ability or desire to really eat things off the floor, which we did outside, which we'll do videos on that. And now we're getting her to relax on the floor without biting it. And this video is not really that informative because she's not doing it, uh, which means the training has been working. But if, uh, you know, if we want to continue down this path, she needs to take a bite of the rug to be corrected. So it might be boring. You might just get to watch a cute dog roll around for a while. It normally happens when the dog's at rest, very calm. They get bored. They start doing bad things. Might even go down to a five right now because her working level is six, but I don't want to startle her so much. And she's in a she's in a very rested area. So a six should do it. Uh, a five will probably get it done. Uh, but again, we might not even use it. Take this moment too to get a little movement in. Right? I might just want her to be able to Understand that I'm going to move and it's totally normal. Just stay on your mark. See if she gets enticed by that tuft, that standing tuft. No, sit down. Good girl. Cleo. 
Down. No. Sit. No. Cleo, sit. No. Sit. Sit. No. We have about a half mile of no stop signs or anything in front of our street, so people fly down here. Down. I'm waiting for it to, to try to chew this carpet up, but I don't see it happening yet. No. Stop being so cute. Come on. Down. Come on. Stop being so cute. You're making for a boring video, Cleo. Very boring. You are being good, though. You see right there, she went for the carpet. There's a hair tie there that smells like the cat, but she didn't try to bite it this time. So that's all good. I mean, we did this game for a few sessions, and it's working out. I'm just going to keep reinforcing it. But, you know, we don't get mad that we're doing this is work, right? I'm actively working with the dog. It's interesting. Sometimes the, the forms that work like this will take. Well, I'm going to sneeze. You want to smell one of the Lego flowers, Cleo? Yeah, they're just made of Legos. Sit. No, sit. No. Cleo, sit. Good girl. These are Lego, Lego roses, flowers. They open up. It's pretty fucking amazing. Down. No. Cleo. Down. No. Down. Very good, you cute freak. You cute little freak. You really only need it to happen once. Here, Cleo. Come on. Here. Sit down. No, down. No, Cleo, down. Very good. Now, while we're standing here, there's not much going on. I'm going to try to act like I'm not paying attention to her as much so that she might make a mistake. Um, remember, we have a leash on the dog at all times at this stage. The dog needs to have a leash on them so that they can learn right from wrong, so that they can be corrected at the right time. No! No! Don't lick that. Good. There you go. So that kind of worked out, huh? I, I, I gave up by kind of looking. This is actually a trick sometimes to use the camera because it's in a selfie view. I can see everything right now, so it works to watch the dog and make them think I'm not paying attention. But that was exactly what we were waiting for. The dog went to lick the carpet, and then I saw her about to take a bite. She opened her mouth, put it on the carpet. I tapped. Okay, she kept looking, I said no. When I tapped, I added, I layered the no with the tap. So it was tap, tap, second tap, I added the no. So. Right after that, we made eye contact. I grabbed the high value toy. I gave it to Cleo. She can enjoy that. And then we will kennel her up. This is one session. Now, this was a bit longer, right? It's almost nine minutes before it happened. We did a little bit of talking. So I'd say maybe we did a five to six minute session. But we were waiting. A lot of that waiting is, you know, it's active. I mean, it's passive work, but it's work. And we were waiting for her to learn a lesson, which is you can relax and be adorable on the carpet. Okay, you can be at rest on the carpet, but you can't chew things. Um, that coupled with more uh, place work, I mean, that's going to be kind of a main thing that's going to help Cleo 
to not get in trouble when she goes back home. She's using the place board and, and using high value toys to continue to send that consistent message that chewing up the carpet will not be accepted. It's not acceptable. You need to be respectful of the carpet and you'll get toys and good things. So that's an example, right? We set the dog up to fail because we're setting them up on the long term, right? On the long term timeline, we're setting the dog up for success. We're sending a clear message of what is and is not acceptable for the dog. Now I'm going to go kennel her up because these squeaky toys are annoying. <laughs> but that was, that was an example of something that might go over the head of some people who don't normally work with dogs, right? Uh, but this is a session. This is a full session for her. She's going to go rest in her kennel for an hour to kind of let it sink in. You sometimes for behavioral issues, right? You got to catch them right in the moment. It can't be five seconds later. It's got to be right in that split second of a moment. You got to capture the moment, correct the moment, and then reinforce it. So do that. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. You know, this is just me adding positive stimuli, right? I remove the negative stimuli with the e-collar. I apply a negative stimuli. She's compliant. I remove the negative stimuli. I then reward with something by adding something positive, right? This is real uh, uh, BF skin or stuff. This is real operant conditioning. Not that shit you're going to see online where people are picking one of the quadrants to be a part of. You need to use them all or you're going to fuck up your dog.